let's do the debate. Yep. Sounds good. So the great debate. Who's better looking? Oh, me. Is that the debate? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the great debate. I give a topic, and then these two debate whether they agree or not. Today, Cal is picking his side first. What's and the debate? The topic is what's harder to hunt, ducks or geese? And Cal, what side are you picking? <laughs> Crackers. I think <laughs> geese. <laughs> yeah. You I saying think, geese are harder? I think geese are harder to hunt. I'm going to let you start. Mm. Lay the groundwork. Thanks. I don't like starting. Um, I think ducks are harder, man, because there are so many of them, and they're actually a lot more harder to pattern. A lot more harder? Are, they're a lot more difficult. How's that? Much better grammar king. Thank you. Uh, I'm just so nervous. You, you know. are the grammar king, though. I'll give you I that. I am the grammar king. I don't know more about grammar. <laughs> I always get worked in the grammar department. And just <clears throat> vernacular in general. Vocabulary, vernacular. That's true. Vocabulary for lessers. Um, for dummies. Plebs. <laughs> for plebs. For plebs. Yeah. No, I think Pies ducks are James. harder because they're, are, they travel in such bigger groups than geese, and so you constantly have more eyes looking down on you, whereas more things can go wrong. A lot of people will say that you can just turn on the spinner and ducks will come in. Sure. Absolutely. But you won't be getting that many ducks in within the 40-yard range, you know? And they are a lot harder to hit in the air because they fly a lot faster than geese. They're a lot smaller target. And then also, with ducks, you are supposed to focus on male versus female, whereas geese, they all look exactly the same. So you're adding an extra challenge in duck hunting that you don't have for goose hunting. And so that's essentially my very limited, small entering monologue. That's your, like, opening monologue? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not going to go into crazy detail right sure. now. All right. Geese are harder to hunt. I win. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's over. And honestly, that's probably how the vaults will look, so let's just <laughs> <laughs> pack it up. Geese are harder to hunt, I think. And there's a, there's a lot of reasons why. I think one of the main reasons that geese are harder to hunt, first off, is you need a lot more gear. So just being able to get into the entry level of being able to seriously goose hunt, the time, the commitment in terms of financially, and just like figuring out where you can goose hunt are way, way harder. Just breaking into it right away. If you want to hunt geese seriously, you have to hunt fields. You know, that's how you're going to be successful hunting geese. Sure, you can go to ponds, you can shoot a few geese, but if you're a goose hunter, you're hunting fields, which means you either need land or you need permission. So your commitment level to shoot geese automatically out of the gate, way higher. Then, if you want to feel like you have a really good shot at being successful, you're going to need a serious number of decoys. I would say just to start feeling like you can go and hunt multiple locations, you probably need, and even if it's silhouettes, that's fine, but you need 120 decoys. That's going to get you off the ground of just like, I mean, that's realistic. Okay. Yeah. No one has ever, no one has ever gone out with six shells. Of course they have, dude. Of course they have. You can start that way hundred percent. But if you feel like you want to like be able to hunt different situations and hunt numbers of geese, then you, you need a hundred decoys. You can do it with less for sure. But a lot of the time, if you're able to do it with less, you know, you're going to rely a little more on, like, some of the calling, your hide, and some of that's situational, right? So if you're just starting out, especially, like, goose hunting is way harder uh, because of those two main points, the gear alone, and then the commitment to, like, the land and where you, you can actually hunt them. Do you hunt ducks in fields, too? <clears throat> you can. But, yeah. do, but do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's the same amount of permission. No, because with ducks, you can just go out and you can hunt ponds, you can hunt lakes. There's tons of... You can do that with geese, too. I just said in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, so are you just repeating me? Is this repeater? No, I'm just... You're making it sound like you don't do the same things for ducks, and I'm saying that you do. Yeah, but you could be a successful duck hunter and be able to go out every weekend, walk in to water access, and hunt ducks and have a good day. If you were in the right spot, if you scouted them, there's tons of public land opportunities. There's not a lot of public cornfields. So no. you want to be really successful hunting geese, you're looking for ag fields, you're looking for cornfields, which means you either need to have land or you need to have permission. You don't have to have that to hunt ducks. Some of the best duck hunts you can in be on are in cornfields. Multiple areas of the for country. Sure. 
You yes, do. there are. But a lot of those other areas, there's cattle ponds, dude. Like there are some, some small none water of those are, None of those they're are. They're not public. Yeah. Yep, you need permission. But a lot of farmers care a lot less about you shooting a little cattle pond on a piece of property they might not be using than they do shooting their cornfield that's 60 acres. It's out their back window. You know what I mean? Okay. So, again, I'm just saying, I think that a lot of those areas that you're talking about, too, you're talking about a lot of, like, lesser hunting more so. And they're not doing a lot of, like, no. early season, you know, Canada hunting. Yeah. No, they're like, Tennessee, Kansas, and uh, <clears throat> Oklahoma. Right. Not doing a lot of, like, early season. Yeah. Yeah, if I mean, they are doing it. I'm just saying, Tennessee like, is known- Minnesota's a, n- a known spot. We're talking about Minnesota right now. Oh, I didn't know that. That's what you said in the first draft. That we'll, we'll talk about Minnesota specifically or debate. Well, if that's what you want to talk about <clears throat> Minnesota oh, only, we can, then we can. We can talk about the whole country if you want. Uh, my my mindset was just Minnesota. A lot of goose hunting here. Sure. And on top of all this, right? The other thing is, the goose call is more important than the duck call. For sure, I'm not saying a duck call is not important or that it can change your hunt, but you damn well know. I know you are debating a side right now, but silence will be your answer. There is way more power in having a ton of great goose callers on the right day than there is to need to have like a ton of great duck callers on the right day, especially in Minnesota. Situational. Sure. It's situational. Sure. It, yeah. It is situational. Yeah. yeah. Um. Sure, man. Well, if that's the case, then just let me duck call when we go duck hunting. I'm telling you right now. Goose calling is far more important. This is what you resort to? You're going to resort to attacking me? No. Sad. No, I'm just, Very sad. You're the one talking about sad. the importance. If anyone listens to this debate, sad. <coughs> How is that an attack? Hmm? Why don't you just let me duck call then? Well, if we don't need that many duck callers, then. We don't. But if we need that many goose callers. Yeah, goose calling more important. Sure, Having I, Being good at Calling geese when you are a goose hunter is more important to the very to the direct you know to the direct relation to you being successful. Goose calling you, is more important to being successful if you're a goose hunter than it is being a good duck caller if you're. A duck which hunter. which bird do you think is harder to kill, a duck or a goose, while you're shooting them? While you're shooting them, I'd yeah, have to like, say geese. Everything's happened. Yeah, I'd have to say everything's geese. happened. I'd have to say geese. <laughs> Based geese are no yeah and the thing is dude like geese are tough okay mm. so unlike a duck you know you get a duck with one or two bb's dead you get a goose with one or two bb's gone he's gone man 100 percent. and geese tend to like to do this thing where they'll they'll hover at 40 yards from you dude they're smart you know if a duck's committed he's coming he's coming all the way to you a lot of the time, they get a little finicky, you know, 40 yards, 30 yards, whatever. But shooting a duck at 30 yards is a lot easier than shooting a goose at 30 I yards. do I mean, not agree. Your shell is just, at that dude, point, you know. Dude, the duck is smaller and harder to hit. It moves quicker than a goose, and it flies faster than a goose. And it takes less BBs to kill it than a goose. So, you I know, can argue one for guys good like to the you, brain. you know, you're... I can argue one good pellet to the brain on any bird. Sure, you it. know, but not all of us are Dr. Spaulding, Okay. So let's take it down a notch on the, you know, doing coronary arteries and shit. Shot right. him in the artery. Left well, think artery. A, think I about a teal that. versus a goose. Yeah, for sure. Take is a it, lot less BBs. You know, you get that teal. shot even close in the range. One BB, dead teal. A teal on average flies 55 miles I've seen a lot more geese fly away from people than ducks. I've seen a lot more ducks fly away than geese. You know, what? how many times are there where you see, are we lying or are we having a debate? How here? many times are there where you're like, you watch 12 geese come in and then you shoot two of them and you've got six shooters and then 10 of them fly away and you're like, what the hell guys? When ducks come in and they finish at 20 yards, 12 of them, you're shocked if there's not like six or eight dead every time. But it happens a lot. It will happen sometimes. I feel like you watch more geese fly away than you do ducks. If you get them in tight. People are bad shooters, you know, and then they miss a little bit. You miss a little bit with a duck, dead dead teal. You miss a little bit with a goose, gone. Bro. You are lacking so bad right now. Think about it this way. Okay. Carter. What's the wingspan? That's a good point. What's the wingspan of a duck? Of a teal? Seven I don't know. feet. Seven, seven feet. feet. Yes, yeah, six, seven feet. Um what do you think, like? 18 24 inches. inches, 20 inches. 
Sure. Let's let's go big. Let's okay. say it's twenty four inches. Sure. Because we know it's not. We don't know. It I'll might be. It, it yeah, might yeah. be eighteen oh, inches. Oh, Joey, are we gonna have another statistics problem for you at the end of this pod here? Guess it wouldn't matter though, would it? Why you just lost? Because I win the debate anyway. <laughs> Joey buys votes. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I buy them. Yeah, a blue wing teal wingspan is twenty three inches. Okay. So we're uh-oh. going big at twenty. Uh oh. Now look up a goose. But Joey, when they're flying and they tuck in, how what often are, are they? How, how often, often are they tucking you see in a lot of people thirty yards? Taking one BB to the wing and the goose goes down. Mm-hmm. You wing in a lot of geese. I've seen a lot of geese get winged and then they land on the Not water ducks? in the field. Not really. Shut the f- up! I've seen more winged birds on opening day than you've ever seen in a goose pit. Oh, you might you must not have goose hunted a whole lot and been <laughs> guiding a whole lot. Because the amount of times I'm running through the field after a damn goose is a lot more you than a duck. You don't run after him in the water, bud. And if you had, you'd be thinking about it a lot more. You're sending your dog to go get him. Yeah, I usually hit him when they hit the water. Easy. Easy money. What's the wingspan of a goose? Canada goose wing span. Is it 24 inches or? <laughs> okay, average wingspan of a Canada goose. Five feet. 61 inches. Five feet. A yeah. b- big bird. Well, so it's they don't... two times the size of a duck. Oh, yeah. Oh, if that's all you wanted to say, absolutely. Then yeah, so, teal, it, so if you're shooting a baseball-sized load of shotgun shells at it, yeah, I would say hitting a five-foot target is a lot easier than hitting a two-foot target. But the thing is, dude, with the teal, you got to hit so much less on target. You get it? Like, if you're leading that bird too far or too little, you're still putting enough ding-ding, couple little beebs in it. Little does, BB, a couple little BBs in a teal. You could say teal. the same thing about a goose. But the thing is, with a goose, even if you're just a little off, he could take three, four BBs to the body and fly away. Not if you're shooting Migra, but... True. <laughs> Easy plug. I'm not gonna not gonna debate that, you know, but I mean I'm just saying I think that you will literally watch when you bring new hunters out, when you bring people out with you, you do you watch more geese fly out, especially like in wind. Like great day for hunting geese fifteen to twenty mile per hour wind. Got a fifteen to twenty mile per hour wind, geese at twenty yards. Yeah, you have an easier chance of killing a goose than you do a duck. Because it's bigger. And they you fly have, slower. You have an easier chance for a goose to leave and fly away. Because you didn't put your your BBs right on the money in that wind. You see a lot of geese fly away, man. Geese are harder to hunt, bro. You need to be a better caller. You need more gear. You need more land. You need permission. What are we losing in here? What's harder about a duck? Speed. Body size. So you're literally saying the only thing that's harder about hunting ducks is that they're harder to shoot? No, Everything I'm, else is no, harder that's about just a goose? the that's just the topic that I'm talking about right this second because you keep saying that it's harder to kill a goose. I'm saying if we're having the debate, we're talking about all the conglomeration of the things. There's nothing a goose is lo- you need more permission to hunt geese. I could argue it's just so the you're going to say conjecture. Okay, it's, it's exactly this the same. Because I hunt ducks in fields. Yeah, right, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this is how you this is what happens when you start losing an argument. What conjecture? That's every answer. <laughs> No, you can do the same thing for ducks as you do for geese. You don't have to, though. That's the beauty of it. You, you're right. You don't have to. Yeah, because you'll be, you can be successful on the water with them on public water. You can geese, be successful you, you on geese to, on public need, water. You can be, but it's a lot harder and less likely. A lot harder to convince geese when they've just left a feed to come and sit down on in your little spot that they haven't been going to. Based on what? Based on how many times we've done that and you see geese Your personal that experience? Yeah, bro, I'm sure there's, you're going to do, what are you going to do? There's a guy in Tennessee that hunts the same pond every day and he shoots the shit out of him. I mean, like, we're talking about the overall, you know, body of work here. It's harder to decoy geese to water than it is to a field. I mean. What, conjecture? <laughs> Based on what, Cal? Your personal experience? Is it not your personal experience? Are you lying or are you being serious? No, I I can do it on both. Is this the debate or is this... I can do it on both. All right, man. 
You can you can kill birds on both. Period. Yeah. It just matters on your sure. area, time of day, your level of calling. All right, bro. Let doesn't me matter ask you this the amount question. of decoys you have or don't have, spinning wings or not, jerk rig or not. If there's a food source there, if it's a Carter, loaf, you want to shoot six geese tomorrow morning. You hunt a field or you hunt in a pond. Me personally, I would hunt a field. Got it. Sounds good. Sure. If I wanted to kill six ducks, I could go to a field. Or oh, I could yeah. go to water. If okay. I wanted to go shoot geese, I could go hunt a field. Right. But or it's hunt harder water. because you don't have to hunt a field tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can you can be in a good situation on water for ducks. Much more access for people. Don't have to have a field. And you don't have to have a field for geese. How much are you hunting geese, bro, on public water where you're just out there like this is a great goose spot? I've never had somebody say to me, dude, you know what we're doing tomorrow? I got this awesome public water goose spot that we're going to go to. Have you ever heard somebody say that to you? Don't don't yep. say <laughs> yes. Yes. You have not. I have brought you to said spot many times, and we have killed many oh. geese on said public water. You didn't bring me there for the geese. Ever. And we killed a lot of geese, didn't we? <laughs> dude, we've killed some geese. Yeah, I've killed geese on water, bro. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. I'm just telling you that nobody really calls you ever and is like, man, I've got this slammer public water goose spot that I've been scouting tomorrow. No. No. Get more friends, I guess. We actually have a video on that (laughs) on how to meet more people in hunting. So go check that out. Nice plug. (laughs) Um, But no, bud, I think just purely based on, because you brought in, there's a lot more decoys that are needed for geese. There's... You have to get more permission for geese because it's easier to kill them in fields. True. Both are the same for ducks. We Both use a lot of... for ducks. If I want to hunt ducks in a field, I yep. have to get permission. Sure. If I want to hunt ducks in a field, I got to put out more decoys in the field than I do in the water. You don't have to, though. You're going to have a better hunt. You don't know that. That's not that's not true, and it's not it's not even remotely true, bro. Like you don't know that he says. I'm just telling you that you could you and the same one other guy could be hunting the you get on a field, he could hunt water, public water, right? And unless you've watched tons of mallards drop in there into that field, if it's a goose field and you're just like side hunting ducks, that guy has a great chance to shoot more ducks than you that day. I just don't agree with you. I just, <laughs> I just don't agree with you. Partial bystander, just a quick question for yeah. bo- both of you. Yeah. On, on the duck side, if you're going in blind to a hunt, you didn't have a scout, would you go to a field or a, a water source? No scout. Repeat the question again. If you had to hunt tomorrow yeah, and you didn't know where birds are, would you go to a water source that is public or would you get permission on a random field? Don't lie. I would go to water. Okay. Cal, for geese, would you try a field or would you go to water? I would try a field. Okay. <laughs> You're more likely to have geese on water in Minnesota, right? Doesn't matter what time of day. You're more likely to have geese on the water than you would in a random field without a scouting report. What about traffic hunting? This is all But people, we but we don't know if there's hunt. geese there. It doesn't matter. That's literally why it's called a traffic hunt, <laughs> bud. No, if it's not. If you know that there's geese in the area, well that's sure. That was part of the question. You but don't know the if there's question. birds. It's the same question. same part of the question for ducks. You, you don't know, know if there's, there's birds. You don't know if there's birds for ducks. Right. I would never go to a field <clears throat> versus water. To hunt I, geese. To hunt geese. Shut the f*** If I don't up. know there's geese in the area, I'm not going to a field. Joey, we. This is a, you have to understand. I'm being like, this 100% is, serious. Are we talking about our area or what is this? I like drove to the middle of Oklahoma and now I just have to hunt a field and I've never been there in my life. Just say you're going to North Dakota for a hunt. North Dakota? Yeah. Okay, North Dakota. So we have a location. So if you had not scouted, you were going to North Dakota. I'd go to the water source. Yeah, and I would go to a field if I was hunting geese. And who do you think would kill more? I think that you would because ducks are easier to hunt. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) What? No, no. You really think I'm wrong? You would. You would feel more confident in North Dakota... Go into a water source without for, scouting for it, then I would go into a field for either species. For either species, I would go to the water. I just don't believe you. I understand you have a you have a job to do here. You have to debate a topic. But this but is outside of my job. This is true life. 
I would go to the water source. That's bad advice, people at home. Don't do that. <laughs> if you're trying to hunt geese in North Dakota during hunting season and you haven't scouted and you have permission on a cornfield that you know there's some birds in the area at least. But we just we're told we, know we don't know if it's in North Dakota. Birds. We know there's birds around somewhat. <laughs> okay, like you know you know there's some geese somewhere by. <laughs> like you're not unless you're in like the Black Hills. Like I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Birds need water to survive. And they're going to be on that water at some point. So they don't need to eat that day. There's a lot of days where they don't eat. So for sure. For sure won that part of it. And didn't, that's okay. Didn't win. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Like, remember, we know. <laughs> it's fine. You can uh, vote on Instagram who won. It'll be go out the day we do this poll. Or do this uh, the day the episode comes out. Throwback Thursdays. Yep. Throwback Thursdays. Yep. Go vote. I don't. I really don't care if you guys think Joey won that. Vote for Joey. He really doesn't care, guys. <laughs> he really doesn't <clears throat> care. I actually don't.